guys! My name is Marjan and this is my first ever video. Today I'm gonna show you how I do my Brazilian blowout. Actually, first time ko to. Hindi <laughs> ko alam ko ano magiging resulta. Pero, let's see. Ang gagamitin kong product is the EPSA Brazilian Blowout. Ayan. Nabili ko to sa Shopee for around 200 or less. So, yun yung pinakamura. Let's try it. So, the first thing that you have to do, binasa ko na yung instruction. So, unang-una mong gagawin is use the clarifying shampoo two to three times para wala lahat ng residue. Next would be the treatment. So, you will be needing uh, blow dryer and flat iron. And then, after noon, use the after treatment condition. So, yeah. so, if you're interested to see the result, or kung mag-work pa to sa akin, just keep on watching. So, first thing na gagawin ko is to use this. show you kung ano ang itsura ng aking hair. So, before we start doing the Brazilian blowout, I'll show you my hair. So, yan. Chaka. <laughs> Joke. So, yan yung hair ko. Overly treated talaga siya. So, na bleach, na hair color, and all. So, mga three times ata ako nag-bleach before. Kasi yan. So, i-wash ko muna yung hair ko. See you later. Bye! Hello, guys! So, I'm back. And tapos na ako maligo. Nirinse ko ng dalawang beses. Or, shinampo ko ng dalawang beses yung hair ko with a clarifying shampoo. So, now, step number two na. Ayan. Pero before that, kailangan daw i-blow dry yung hair. Like mga 50% na dry before i-apply yung treatment. So, yun. Blow dry muna. So, tapos ko na yung blower yung hair ko. So, next is yung treatment. So, eto. Kailangan natin ng gloves ng lagayan. Ayan. Or if may disposable pa, um, disposable kayo pwede rin. And yung applicator. So, yun. Pero kahit kamay lang pwede na rin naman. Kung wala kayo nun. So, let's start. So first, this is separate muna natin yung hair. Ayan. Tinahin ko yung ilalim. Kapapas. siya. Ganto siya. Yung color brown. Thank you. 
So, tapos na ako maglagay ng treatment at napakasakit niya sa mata. Oh my God. So, tinapos ko na siya and then nag-shower ka pa ako. So, I have to wait for 40 minutes up to 1 hour and then to blow dry and paplanjahin ko siya. So, yun guys. So, 1 hour na ang nakalipas. Ibo-blow dry ko na siya. Dapat completely dry bago ipa-flat iron. So, let's get started. So, pagtapos na ako mag-blow dry, pabalik na lang ako kasi super tagal nito. So, na-blow dry ko na yung hair ko. Next naman is paplansyahin ko siya gamit ito. So, yun. And I'll be back. So, I'm back. Tapos ko na planchahin yung hair ko. So, next naman is i-rinse ko siya ulit. And gagamitan ko ng after treatment conditioner. And then, blow dry again. And pa-flat iron again. So, yun. I-cool down ko muna. And after that, mag-rinse na ako. So hi guys, I'm back and this is my final update regarding my Brazilian blowout. So it's been a week since nung nag Brazilian blowout ako and this is the result. So yan. Actually, hindi siya super straight. May wave siya yung parang wavy pa rin yung hair ko pero super smooth and shiny siya. So, I'm very happy sa result. Actually, hindi ko talaga siya na plan siya ng maninipis. So, I think that could be a reason as well. So, kailangan din medyo maganda yung flat iron na gagamitin ninyo para maging super straight yung resulta ng hair. But all in all, I'm very happy na naging smooth siya and also na reduce na yung hair fall ko. So I'm I'm glad na trinhay ko yung product. And yung mga hindi ko naman gusto is yung ina-apply ko yung product. Super stinky niya, ang baho-baho, ang sakit niya sa ilong. So yun lang, sana naging helpful yung video ko and I hope may try nyo rin yung pagpa-Brazilian blowout kung gusto nyo makatipid. And if you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more, just click the subscribe button. Yun lang. Bye-bye!